Mr. Glasgow, sir. Oh, good afternoon, Lieutenant. Uh, I've been looking all over for you, sir. You have? Yes. Uh, I hope I'm not interrupting no, you. No, no, no. Um, well, it's been a, it's a wonderful turnout you have here. Yes, we're it? very, very pleased. Oh, Paul, the pictures are uh, lovely. Hello, Just lovely. Hello. Oh, lovely. How are Just you? Just lovely. Uh, Lieutenant, did you want something? Is there some place, sir, that you and I could uh, talk? Columbo, you're becoming very annoying. Do you know uh, that? Paul, Paul, why don't you use the old studio? Huh? Well, I'm sorry. It's about Mr. Dashway, sir. All right. You have to make it short. I had to offer you something, Lieutenant, but I'm not a drinker. What? Oh, that's all right. Of course, you're probably on duty anyway. You are on duty, aren't you? Yes, sir. You know, it isn't every day that I go out and I spend 24 hours on a book. But that's besides the point. This is a terrific book. I went through it last night five or six times. Do you know how many photographs you have in this book? <laughs> Lieutenant, I have never counted my photographs. You took 522 photographs. 522 pictures. You took 522 photographs, and I have to tell you something. I've been to San Quentin a few times. You know, in the early days, I used to take prisoners up there. And I want to tell you, you've really captured the mood of the place. It's very depressing. Well, Lieutenant, a camera is like an artist's palette. Tool is nothing without the art. Look at this one. I brought that into the Ukraine with me. Must have been 11 years ago. Maybe it was even more than that. You were there seven weeks, sir? What? San Quentin. It says here in the jacket you were there for seven weeks. You worked there. You slept there. You ate with the prisoners. That's right. That's what I thought. May I show you something? Mm-hmm. You see that, sir? Mm-hmm. You see that man in the background? Yes. That's Mr. Deschler. Really? Why, yes, I believe it is. You know, when I saw this book in your office and I realized that you'd spend that much time in San Quentin, I knew I had to go out and buy it. You know how many other photographs of Mr. Deschler are in here? Oh, Lieutenant. Nine. Nine other photographs of Mr. Deschler in here. Wait a minute. There's another one. See that? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. It's Deschler. But, sir, in your sworn statement, you said that you never met the man. Oh, Lieutenant. Surely you don't expect me to remember one obscure man from the thousands I photographed over the years? I didn't even know the man's name. But not his name, sir. His face. Your business's faces. I thought maybe that you had met him when you were at the prison. Well, I didn't. And even if I had, I wouldn't remember it. Lieutenant, maybe. Maybe he remembers me from that visit. And probably knowing that I was well off, he picked me for his next victim. Well, that's a possibility, sir. You don't think so, huh, Lieutenant? You believe that somehow I'm responsible for my wife's death. Oh, don't deny it, Lieutenant. You're like a little shaggy-haired terrier. She's got a grip on my trousers you won't let go. I can't turn around without you staring up at me with that blank, innocent expression on your face. I won't deny, sir, that I have problems with this case. Lieutenant. Please. Don't you think he's been through enough? It's all right, Lorna. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, man. You're going to be a lot sorrier, Lieutenant, if you don't stop following me around. Now, in two days, I'm leaving for the Philippines with Miss McGrath here. And for eight blessed weeks, I won't have to be greeted with your suffocating presence. Or are you planning on going along? Oh, no, sir. Well, in which case, I'll scream until the beams at City Hall shake. That won't be necessary. I know I've been a pest. I'm just trying to do my job. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, I hope you mean that, Lieutenant, for your sake and for mine.
just one more thing. 